Well, this is my second full season of skiing the Scarpa T2 Eco 75 millimeter Telmark boot. And I thought I'd take this opportunity to give you a little update. And I really like this boot. I was hesitant to, to give this boot a try because I had moved up from leather boots and the uh, Scarpa T4 was the heaviest plastic boot that I'd ever tried skiing. And uh, I had to give up the Scarpa T4 because of blister problems. I could just never get a good fit. But I'm happy to report that I'm really glad I made the move from the T4 to the T2. Well, one thing for sure is this is a, a much heavier boot than what I skied for many years. In comparison, this is a Mondo 27.5 boot. It comes in at 7.9 pounds, which is 3.6 kilograms. If you compare that to the leather boots, the 75 millimeter leather boots that I'm skiing currently, those weigh only 4.2 pounds, which is 1.9 kilograms. So there's a huge difference. But uh, I ski the leather boots when the terrain is more moderate. I move up to these plastic boots when the skiing is more difficult and the terrain is steeper. Uh, I really like these boots. They offer a lot of control, a lot of support, and they're very comfortable for me. Initially, when I got these boots, I was a little bit hesitant because I, I felt like I was putting on a pseudo armor compared to the other boots I had skied in the past. And I had great difficulties putting these boots on at the trailhead. And uh, I don't know, compared to my AT friends, their boots just seem to go on quite easily. And I really struggle with mine. You know, you get out of the car uh, and you're standing around in the snow, you're trying to switch from your regular shoes to your ski boots. I had so much trouble getting my foot down into these boots, I oftentimes had to bring a chair. And even then, it just getting the boots on and off just seemed to be a problem. And I finally found something that works for me. And, and uh, if you're struggling with that, maybe this tip will help. One of the tips that has really worked for me is moving from a traditional sock to a downhill oriented sock. And the key thing here is that the sock is just thinner and the fabric is just a lot more slippery. And it just it makes it so much easier to try to get your foot to slip down into that liner. And that really helps a lot. But even with these, I was struggling. Now this is the liner for the T2, and they come with laces. The, la the bottom part of the laces are buried way down deep into the boot. And to try to get down there and try to loosen up this area around your ankle uh, proved to be difficult and troublesome, especially when it's cold out, you're standing, you're kind of hopping around, you're trying to get this, this liner set up. And there was a suggestion other people have had struggling with boots like this, and they said, you know, just get rid of those, those laces. You just don't need them. And I was a little bit uh, worried. I thought, well, I wonder how the boots are going to fit. I wonder if uh, they're going to slip around if I don't have the, the laces on there. But I thought I'd, I'd give that a try. So I removed the laces from the liners, and lo and behold, that just makes the, the foot slips in there really easily. You can put it in, you can put it out. And I found, at least in my case, when you uh, tighten the boot, when you tighten the plastic shell down around the liner and you get this lined up nice and smooth, you don't even miss, I don't even miss the laces. Now granted, my, my boot is a fairly loose fit. And if, you're a, if you come from the downhill skiing world and you're used to having your boots really fit tightly, that might not be a solution for you. But you know, you can give it a try and, and see if it works. For me, it's made a world of difference on how usable I think these boots are. Uh, if a boot skis really well, that's great, but if you have trouble getting in and out of them, man, I'll tell you, there's nothing worse than that. Well, that's about all I have to say about the Scarpa T2 75mm Telemark boot. But instead of talking about them, let's go ski them. Gosh, look at that beautiful blue sky. I'm not sure it gets much prettier than that. Okay, we are up on Salt River Pass and we're setting a skin track on the west side of the highway. I like skiing this terrain over here, it is really beautiful. 